Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm still trying to figure out what I want to call y'all. Like, family, YouTube family, Magical Moments family, Photo Booth family. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that part out. But anyway, um, it is Tiffany here dropping another, another video for you guys. Um, I just wanted to let you guys see some of the newer things that we added to our, our Photo Booth. Um, behind me, you guys can see a, a big backdrop. It's an 8 by 8 foot, so it's pretty large. Um, here trying to show you guys on, on my cell phone, but i um, really excited about this here. We got uh, four different backdrops to choose from. This one here is the red carpet. Um, on the back side of that, we have the gold triangles, and then we have a black and white one. So really excited to get this baby out and start using it uh, with our selfie, selfie booth as well as our 360. I think it'll be a great addition. I'm always trying to find new things that I can add to um, to my business because, you know, with these additions, you can always charge a little bit extra, right? Um, so you can have it as an additional, hey, I'm going to charge additional $50, $100, whatever. Um, or you can just add it into your existing setup and add the cost in there. Totally up to you. Uh, but I'm really excited about this because I know when galas and stuff like that, weddings, they like to have backdrops on there doing a little bit more fancier events. So I'm excited about that. And then I, and I just wanted to flip the camera for you guys so you could see how big this thing is. I put this up in my dining room, um, but it's a pretty big backdrop, the eight by eight. It doesn't seem so big when you're buying it online. And this is what the back, the gold triangles. I'm excited to use this, this baby here. And like I said, we have the black and white as well, but also wanted to show you guys our selfie booth. Um, sorry for the glare right now that it's giving you with the lighting. Um, actually, I'm going to turn it off so you don't have to worry about seeing that glare here. Excuse my, my home. <laughs> so I'm going to turn this off so you guys can get an idea of what that looks like um, with just the booth here. Uh, so yeah, we have our digital selfie booth. We plan to just make this uh, digital only, so we're not doing any prints at all. I actually did go ahead and reach out, get this from Alibaba. Really excited about this here. I'm just showing you what this looks like. I got a test event open here on Touch Picks. Um, so it's really cool. You guys, you could do photos, you could do boomerang, excuse me. You could do quick videos, like sometimes at a, a retirement or some type of event like that. People like to just do quick memento videos. Um, you can do a GIF and you can do a slow-mo video. So a lot of, uh, options here. And, um, yeah, we have the setup with the two lights here on the side. Just going to show you guys what this looks like from behind. Uh, so you have this little arm here that allows you to pull uh, the head up or down. Um, I probably have it kind of high right now. Uh, you have this little hole here that allows you to turn the iPad off. And then what's really cool is that they built, they give you a cord that you can, mine is kind of messy right now, but you can have that go right into the hole here. And I'm going to open up the back so you guys can see that. And the cord they gave you is long enough to stretch all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to zoom in here so you can see, uh, and it comes with a, a, um, a cord here that you can plug into a little sh strip here. So you can plug here and then you have two USB ports here. And then this button here turns everything on here in the back. Um, and then all the lighting here is, is the cords that are connected here. And then this cord comes up and connects into the head there. And then up here at the top, you actually have the flexibility to uh, turn the lighting down as you like. Um, and then it also tells you the percent charge that you're on. Um, so I'm really excited to get this baby out. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is probably bring um, my generator, my solar generator with me. If I'm going to do outdoor events, I'll probably we'll just bring it either way, um, whether it's indoor or outdoor, just because you just never know how close you are to an outlet. And I'm used to doing our wireless, baby. You know how we do. All right, so also going to show you guys our, our backdrop here. Sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. Our backdrop here did come with a nice um, pack bag. We got ours. Shout out to Premium One Backdrops. This is not a paid um, video, but... <laughs> um, so yeah, it comes with these two bags so that you can, when you, you know, finish with your backdrops, you can fold them up and put them in this neat here bag. And um, like I said, we got black and we got white. All the pieces here fit easily together. I can't show you guys because I haven't already put up, but they actually numbered each one of these. 
So all of these little pieces here, they number the ones that you need. I think these are spare parts, but they number them. So it makes it way easier to figure out what goes to what. And so, yeah, I put this up pretty much by myself here. Um, relatively quickly, I'd say. Probably faster once I get the hang of it. But, but yeah, this is a pretty simple setup. Sorry, I got tired of talking to you guys without seeing you seeing my face. But anyhow, this is a pretty simple set, setup. And I think that it's way easier, I'd say, than the 360 booth. So I think I'm able to offer more affordable options with the digital selfie booth. And then if I want to, you know, if people want to get the backdrop as well, that's an additional add-on that you can charge more for. So you're still maybe making something comparable or close to the 360 without as much work. Uh, Cause I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like that 360, it's a lot. Even getting it in and out of the car, um, you know, just managing the arm, making sure no one's, you know, walking or moving while the arm's moving and managing the props at the same time. It, it, it's, it's more of a two person operation. And I definitely think that the digital selfie booth, I'll be able to do this by myself if I wanted to. Uh, shout out to my mom. She's probably not going to let me go to an event by myself. <laughs> but if I ever was in a stretch or in a lurch um, and I needed to do an event by myself, I could set this this uh, selfie booth up rather quickly. I did it by myself when it shipped here from Alibaba. Oh, yeah. I forgot to even get into this. So I bought it from Alibaba. I went ahead and took the leap after watching a bunch of videos of people saying that they were doing it. We didn't do our 360 from Alibaba. We got that from Oracle View. If you watched the, the videos prior to, you'll know that. But anyhow... We went ahead and did this from Alibaba. It was very affordable. Uh, I think we paid about 900 and some change total. And that was everything, shipping, you know, the booths, all, all included except for the iPad. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we have our, let me see. I'm like, I'm just going to turn this here. So we have our uh, logos and all of that jazz on there. Uh, we sent that over to them when we were get, getting it built. So yeah, all in all, I, I had a pretty good experience with Alibaba. Um, I had the user contact that David Rodriguez, shout out to him. Uh, he gave us a couple contacts, I think in a few of his videos. I reached out to two or three of them, ended up, I think I went with Cindy and I literally was messing back, messaging back and forth for her on Instagram the entire time. And yeah, it was, I'd say it was fairly smooth. I, I think from sale to door, it was probably about 20 some odd days, I think. And that's not bad. Again, it's coming all the way from China. But we didn't have any hiccups with shipping. Everything made it here in one piece. They did send it to me in a, um, a hard case. I'm going to show you guys that here in a second. All right, I'm making a mess in my living room floor. But anyhow, this is the case that it shipped in which I know people complain about getting the case for the 360 because it makes it super heavy, but this actually comes in handy. Everything fit in here um, and it's padded. So nothing, you know, it made it here with no, no problem, no damage or anything. It actually comes with wheels here at the bottom, which sometimes is convenient and sometimes it's not because it gets a little out of control. It's a little, I think it's a little wobbly. It's not necessarily stable all the time. But anyhow, I like that it's on wheel because then I can just pull it when I want to and I have to have to lift it fully. So yeah, so I, I appreciate having the case in, in this instance. But all in all, guys, I think that it was a good deal. I would recommend, uh, I probably will try to find Cindy's information and put it in the description should you decide to go ahead and get you a selfie booth from Alibaba. All right, guys, so that is all I got for you today. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I just got in from work and I said I wanted to record this video. I'm still in my work clothes because, again, I was so excited about this setup. I've had this backdrop up for like three, four days in my, in my dining room. So, yeah, that's it for today, guys. I will catch you next time on the next video. Until then, go ahead and make sure you like and subscribe. Drop down in the comments. Give me some ideas or topics, things that you definitely need me to cover because, like I said before, I am here to help you on your photo booth journey so we can all learn together. All right. Catch you next time. Bye, YouTube.